The Brexiteer businesswoman said the Brexit process has been engulfed in political posturing when politicians should instead be focusing on the greater good of the country. Speaking on BBC Question Time, Ms Dewberry said, as for the last 616-something days, I would like to rewind it and play it as a film and play either the Benny Hill theme tune or the hokey cokey over it because I honestly, I have found it's a confusing, we are in, we are out. We want this. We don't want this. There is impact. Statements. Oh no, there's not. It has now become something where there is so much political posturing, almost like people are trying to get political personal gain instead of coming together and respecting the referendum result. And looking at how do we implement this for the greater good of the country in the future. Not for the greater good of a person's political career going forward. BBC Getty Brexit News. Michelle Dubery said politicians must respect the result of the referendum it has now become something where there is so much political posturing. Michelle Dubery Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn finally revealed Labour's stance on Brexit on Monday after months of dodging the issue and ignoring demands to get off the fence and back remaining in a customs union after Brexit. Mr. Corbyn announced the party would hand over control of trade policy to Brussels by setting up a customs union with the EU. He called for full tariff-free access the EU customs union as he set out his plans for post-Brexit Britain in a major speech in Coventry. Mr Corbyn said, we have long argued that a customs union is a viable option for the final deal so Labour would seek to negotiate a new comprehensive UK-EU customs union to ensure there are no tariffs with Europe and to help avoid any need whatsoever for a hard border in Northern Ireland, he confirmed that under Labour, there would be legislation immediately introduced to guarantee the rights of EU citizens living in Britain. The Labour leader claimed the government was leaving the country in the dark as he set out his party's soft Brexit approach. A spokesman for the PM said the UK will categorically not be joining a customs union after Brexit. He said the Government will not be joining a customs union. We want to have the freedom to sign our own trade deals and to reach out to the world. Following the speech, Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson accused Mr Corbyn of a cynical and deluded plot to keep the UK tied to Brussels forever following his abrupt policy. You turn over membership of the bloc's customs union. Mr Johnson also said the opposition leader had raised a white flag in the Brexit negotiations in an attempt to defeat Theresa May's government in the next general